Hello everyone. It's been quite some time since I last made a video, so I figured I would start it light and easy for myself. Today I'm going to be playing in the modern kitchen version of the cooking simulator game I've shown you before. In order to run around a little bit less, I've put the ingredients out on the table already. What we're going to be making is one of my favorite late autumn dishes because that's the one time of the year that you can get pumpkins where I live. So I'll show you my favorite way of prepping pumpkin. It's very easy, very simple, and uh, I'm pretty sure that any one of you can do it. Of course, we're limited by the mechanics of the game a little bit, but I'll try to tell you how things are done I let go so if you want to try this dish at home with these instructions you should be able to so let's start off with the onions shall we now pretty normal thing is you want to have a different onion board and there are many techniques to cutting onions as a matter of fact but we're just going to go with this kind of system in this particular dish it doesn't really matter if you cut the onions very small or big because it's all going to be going into one big pot which is this one and um yeah i'm gonna go ahead and just add these right away oops wrong direction so everything is going to be cooking in this one, one big pot for quite some time and that's why we're not going to be needing, <laughs> we're not going to be worrying too much about things like, you know, cut sizes, come on, there we go. Let's put the two last pieces in. There we go. So now that's that. Then I'm gonna do the potatoes. You don't have to use many. I chose to have four. Oh, that's not how you roll around. But you can also just go ahead and use one or two. It's mostly just to kind of add stick thickness thickness some starch into it some carbon hydrates maybe okay just pretty much to have a little a little more feelingness to the dish and unfortunately this is the largest pot I could find. I really tried to search for a bigger one in this kitchen, but that feat proved completely fruitless. I hope I'm not talking too stiffly. It's been such a long time since I've had to, you know, play a game alone in my room and try and talk about it at the same time. Okay. Then we do the carrots, there, and again, it doesn't matter quite about the size, it all really depends on, you know, how long you want to cook this. I usually end up cooking it for at least an hour, if not more. It's not necessarily necessary to do that, but I like to turn it into a complete mush. Technically, I could have just cut the ends off. You know, you don't really need to use these ones, but in you go. Now, pumpkin is a pain to do. Uh, I'm not going to be able to do this the way that I would otherwise, but you don't want the skin 
you want the insides but you don't want the seeds so what you end up doing is kind of cutting the outer edges just put that there okay let's let's see if i can sort of get this i might not be able to but i'll i'll give it a go of sorts okay so we got these pieces of normally i would just kind of carve out the good parts um i need to to oh come on There we go. All right. E. E. Okay. Some more wasted pumpkin. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and. Oh, actually, it's it's not half bad. Okay, we're we're gonna go with this. So now that the skin is gone, again, don't waste all that pumpkin. It's because of the way this game works that I am doing it this way. Now can I... Turn this into small enough pieces to... Oh wow, did I just cut this one with the handle? Okay, um... I'm, I'm fine with this. Okay. So, apparently this is gonna break off in quite large pieces. But we'll put them in there anyway. I'm doing it by hand. Because the pot is already kind of full. And we don't want to get it way too full. Well, that's a piece of carrot. Okay, so we got this here. Now I need a small container for water. Let's use this. Normally, of course, you know, you would put the water in first. But, uh, yeah, I don't quite trust the system, to tell you the truth. Do I have anything in this bowl? Because I don't see anything in this bowl. Oh. Well, there we go. Okay. All right, that looks good. Okay. So that's all the vegetable side. We want to put it on heat. And I like to add all the herbs that I use right away so that they can enrich the flavor. Okay, it seems the onions are cooking kind of fast. Pumpkin very slow. I usually do it this way, um, where everything is in there more or less around the same time. Because it's all going to cook and overcook on purpose. Now, I'm just gonna turn this off for a bit. In reality, you can keep it on, just not too high heat, so nothing burns. And then we go for this thing. 
uh, I decided that I am going to cut it myself, although there is an automatic cutter. You want to always use a different cutting board for meat and for your um, vegetables. So what I like to do is I usually buy a bigger piece of pork because it is cheaper by a lot to do that. And I take the less great parts, let's say edges, fattier bits, you know, things that don't look like they make great steaks or pork chops in this case, I suppose, is the better word for it. Alright, and I cut them into small pieces. And you can add them straight in there. I'm gonna just put it here. And hopefully... Hopefully, most of these will end up where I want them. Okay. Come on. Come on. Nice and easy. Come on, pork pieces. In you go. In you go. Okay. Uh, it's a shame, but I'm gonna throw this away. Okay. Now here we go. Yes. <laughs> See, this is why I tend to try and do ingredient prep first and not carry the pot around too much. I'm afraid this will happen. Okay. Um, do I have a ladle or anything at all to kind of poke that around with. Get a spatula. You can see this going wonderfully already. Oh, I see. Um, um, y you go back in there. Okay, uh, that's not what I want. It's a little... Would really just want to kind of push that. Maybe I'll just use this. Uh, nope, not yet. Too early for that. I can move it down. I I don't. Okay. Um, that can wait. Anyway, and then the better piece of meat. You take it, and you can cut it into nice pieces for yourself. I'm gonna do these types of nice little steaks and then what you can do is you put them on a hello <laughs> um yeah like that on a nice pan uh with pork I think it's not necessary to add butter. You can if you want to, but I don't think you need to. Just, you know, make sure that all the surfaces get nice and... It's very hard to make things work correctly in a game like this or in the way that I would like to do them for real, but this will have to do. Okay, so we got this here. We'll turn them on for a bit. Then we go and we get some 
Oh, I think I actually took... Yes, I did. So, I'm using sour cream in here because we don't have regular cream. But, um... Yeah. You can use cream with this one as well if you want. I'm not going to. But I will add a tiny bit in here, usually after I've already boiled some of the water away. That's what I like to do. Now the time to start trying to burn. Let's take them out. Oops. You can always use bigger pieces of thyme and then, you know, try and go ahead and uh, remove them after they've given all of their flavor. The onions are really trying to burn in there. Mm, the onions are really trying to burn up there. Oops, get back in there. Now, let's go ahead and take the blender. Uh, this is what I do after I've cooked it for maybe an hour or so. It really helps. So when you blend it, when the meat is all mushy already, you get this really thick, kind of gross looking sauce. It goes really well with different kinds of things like pasta, rice, you can eat it as it is. It's overall really delicious. I absolutely love it myself. And it's so easy to make a big portion of it. All you need to do really is just, you know, have a big pot, throw in some ingredients, wait, let it get all nice and soft. Take a blender to it. You don't even have to take a blender to it if you don't want to. Just make sure that after you have cooked the meat and uh, the vegetables initially, that you... Oh, did I make a mess? Oops. That's unfortunate. Well, regardless. I'm gonna turn it on just for a tiny bit more. Oh, it's a mixture. That's for sure. <laughs> so yeah. In this case, it looks very soggy. I know. But what it is supposed to be like is... Oops. Sauce. You can eat it with bread, for instance. Da, da, da. We're cutting that away and then just taking a piece right there. And you can have it sort of in there. Not quite the position I had in mind. Let me see if I can fix that a little bit. Okay, what if I drop it here? Okay, now it disappeared entirely. Well, you get the gist. You can have a piece of bread with it. It's gonna absorb some of it. And I've made a mess. But that's okay, because it's a virtual kitchen. And then... You can have however you want to spice these. Let's just let them cook properly. You can have your pork shoulders or pork chops or whatever you pull them at the point that you cook them. And they go nicely with your example fried potatoes. You can, you know, use some of the potatoes at the same time. If you like. And there we go. Another option is that you can use uh, the bigger pieces of pork also if you don't want to mix the meat in there. I mostly do it because I freeze about 75% of all of this dish that I use uh, for later. Which is, you know, why I just like to have everything in one mush because it's so much easier to unfreeze. Defreeze. Defrost. Defrost, right. But you can also have it like so, with some meat and some bread. Make it a little bit fuller dish for yourself. Just have it. 
grab a spoon or a fork and a knife first to cut this into smaller pieces and enjoy it. Yeah, I think that's about that for this dish. I was expecting to take a little bit longer, actually. Huh. Oh, there it is. This is some real comfort food, honestly. And I absolutely love it. And I was thinking of also doing some kind of a dessert, to tell you the truth. There were strawberries down here. But then I realized that unfortunately baking in this game is not a thin thin, <laughs> not a thing. So my options are somewhat limited. Um with lemon and lime I could have maybe made some sort of drink. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna show you guys what kind of a drink I sometimes make for myself. It helps me get better and some mornings I have it just for the sake of having it. Oh yeah, right, I should probably close these. No wonder the doors weren't closing. Sorry, Fridge, I'm, I'm stupid. Now, do we have cinnamon here? Yes, we do. Okay. I'll just gather all the ingredients here. This is jelly, mustard, mustard, jelly again. Is there no honey? Mm. That's a little bit of a problem. Let's see, around age. Nope, just horseradish. Well, let's imagine that we got honey. There was mint somewhere, if I remember correctly. I saw it right here. Okay, I'm gonna get a mint leaf. <laughs> One mint leaf. I'm just putting it there so I remember to mention something a bit later. Um, curry, dill. Where is that one that I need? Nutmeg, mustard, vanilla, thyme, cumin. Oh, there's mint dried, but that's not as good. Ah, there we go, turmeric. Uh, this is supposed to be really healthy, so you could use that as well. Um, dun 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 dun. There is the vinegar. Do we have a vinegar thing here? Vinegar? Clarified butter, white wine, red wine, water, rice wine, wine vinegar, wait, rice vinegar, balsamic, and then oils. Oh, hey, honey, we do have some. Perfect. Okay. There. Um, oh, there would have been lemon juice. Well, you know, we're gonna kind of cheat. <laughs> Alright. Then what we need is what I use is apple cider vinegar. But let's use white vinegar in its... Actually, no. Let's use the Rice vinegar in its place. Uh, again, remember guys, this is standing in for apple cider vinegar. Okay. Is that all that I use for it? Honey, lemon, cinnamon, and... Right, yes, that's correct. Okay, uh, then we need a container. Um, oops. Unfortunately, there are no glasses, so I'm just going to have to take another one of these bowls. And we'll pretend that this is, you know, a, a nice little mug. I like to make these in shot form because, honestly, it doesn't taste that great. Um, hello? <laughs> Please? 
turn. Um, here we go. And a mess. Ah, too bad about that. Okay, so I usually squeeze um, a couple of teaspoons. Sorry, a couple of uh, tablespoons of lemon juice. Then I add a little bit of apple cider vinegar. I pour in some honey. Not too much. And at this point, you want to mix it very thoroughly. And then I add some cinnamon to it. It makes the flavoring easier to handle. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Mint is really good for you if you have stomach issues. So mint leaf tea or mint tea, peppermint tea, it really, really helps you. If you ever have upset, st upset stomach, that's really great remedy for that. It's sure to set you right back on track. Now, any other things that I wanted to show you guys? I've made a mess of the kitchen at least. So that's a thing. I think that I'm just gonna leave it here for now because the ingredients are still somewhat limited. But these two dishes are sure to make you feel better if you happen to be sick or have caught a cold. For now, I hope you guys have your bellies full and your hearts warm. Bye!